Hello and welcome back to another week of family meal ideas. I apologise for not being present over the last, I don't know, couple of videos I suppose, last week or so. Um, I've just not been very well, Oscar's not been very well, we've had a lot going on and it's just been a bit crazy. So the videos have been going up, I just haven't been in them. I also didn't upload the next part of our holiday vlog on Sunday, which I know a lot of you have messaged and asked where it was, but that will be uploaded at some point this week. As usual, if you can hear chewing, it's the dogs, they've decided that straight away as soon as they hear the beep of the camera, they need to pick up a bone. <laughs> they're like little snuffle pigs um, it's really i promise it is in my stomach so i'm going to take you through what we eat as a family of five over the course of a week i have got a couple of different video ideas for you i'm definitely going to be doing the low carb idea because i know a lot of you said when i asked if you'd like to see it that that's something you'd be really interested in steve and i are eating quite low carb at the moment so i'm going to film a load of meals for that and then i'll put that up but i will still be putting up like what the boys eat because obviously they're growing boys they don't need to cut anything out of their diet so they're having like normal meals and then i'm adapting them slightly for steve and i just to get that little bit healthier and it just feels like that time of year that it's you know a good time to focus on our health a bit <laughs> she's right by my foot with that bone this was probably a couple of weeks ago now i tend to upload like a week behind but because we're away and things i've ended up uploading like two weeks behind if that makes sense but anyway it's just your normal meals of the week video for our family of five so let's go and have a look so i'm just starting tonight's dinner and i've decided to make a chicken stew in the slow cooker i've got loads of veg that needs using up so as you get a bit chaos at the moment i've got carrot i've got celery spring onions i've got in here i've got three chicken breasts i've got two onions chopped and i've got a bag of baby potatoes that were on their way out as well and then i had half a cauliflower in the fridge so i'm chopping that up really finely and i'm going to put that in soon and it will basically just disintegrate but it will be really good to thicken up the stew i've already got some celery in here as well and i'm going to add my spring onions my carrots they're like all over here everything i've pulled out oh and some green beans i've just realized that need using as well so i'm going to chop those pop those in and then the stock in here all i've got so far is i've pulled two different stocks out of the freezer i'm not sure what they are because i'm rubbish at labeling stuff i know they're stock but i don't know what i think one was chicken and one might have been from when we made our pork bao buns and i had to boil the pork belly in like ginger and loads of spices and lemongrass and all that kind of thing so i saved the stock from that as well so what i'll do next is after this chicken has cooked through i'll take it out and shred it up with a couple of forks and put it back in and then I'll probably add some stuffing mixture, which is what I always put in my chicken stews. It just adds a really nice sage and onion flavour and it also helps to thicken it. And then I'm going to go outside and get some fresh herbs and pop those in as well. And I'll just give it a stir. Because outside I've got growing thyme, basil, parsley, mint. What else have I got? Thyme? Oh, and coriander. So I'll probably... Mm, not mint. I'll go and grab a handful of different herbs and I'll put those in as well. Some salt and pepper and then I'll taste it obviously once the chicken's cooked through. I don't want to taste it now while it's raw. And then I might add a stock pot or something to it as well. And like I said at the end I just shake in some of the stuffing mixture and it's just amazing and I absolutely love it and it's just getting to that time of year isn't it where you just want soups and stews and so anyway I'm gonna let this cook. I'm gonna put my carrots in, I'm gonna put my cauliflower in and all my other bits and then i'll show you a bit later on so i've managed to cram all of my veg in here there's some green beans some carrots like i said before there's celery onion we've got potatoes cauliflower uh, i put some spring onions in as well because they needed using up and i've just got some herbs from the garden i've got a bit of a mixture because why not so i've got some parsley some thyme there's a little bit of coriander and basil and I'm just going to give those a rinse. I've chopped them up a little bit and then I'm going to throw those in as well because it's massive and it could do some seasoning. I'm also going to use some of this all-purpose seasoning that I get in Lidl. They don't do it all the time, but when they do do it, it's in their kind of middle section when they have like stuff from, I think they do like a Polish week and this is always available then. And it's a huge, what is it? It's a kilo and it lasts for ages and it's not very expensive, but it goes really well in soups. Sorry about the washing machine. It's always going in this house. So I'm going to pop that in, switch it down to low because I've had it on high just to get everything nice and hot and I'm not going to add any water at the moment. I'm tempted because it looks like there's just veg and no water but I know that a lot of the veg will release water. And now that is my stew. 
and I'm going to be eating this for about six weeks. So I've just taken my chicken breast out of the stew and it's all soft so I've just shredded it. It's come apart really easily because it's really tender now and I'm just going to put it back in and then in about an hour I'm going to add the stuffing mixture. So the last thing I'm going to do about half an hour before serving is put in this dry stuffing mix and stir it through. It adds a really nice sage and onion flavour and it also really really thickens it because you're meant to mix it with water obviously to make your stuffing and I'll give that a stir through and it's just this one this is just I think Lidl's but you can get it anywhere and I just put the whole packet in because it's absolutely huge this is a six and a half litre slow cooker so it's one of the big family ones but it is smelling amazing so to go with the stew I'm going to do some cheese quesadillas so I'm just going to pop I should use my bigger pan story of my life um, so yeah I'm just going to pop an oversized wrap in my pan and then I've got a little bit of grated cheese and I'm going to put that in there like that and then the idea is to put the other one on top and flip it over um, but yeah I've used the wrong pan <laughs> so it's going to be more like a flower shaped it'll be fine and then I'm going to serve that with the chicken soup so I've just put the other one on top and it'll be fine I've sort of molded it to the pan um, and don't know if I'm going to be able to flip it though. I probably will if I cut it in half. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Here we go. I've managed to wait until the cheese starts to go a bit melty and flip it over. Note to self, use your bigger frying pan next time. So here we are dished up and the cheese quesadillas have gone fine. They, they fit in the end in the pan. So this is what we've got for our dinner tonight. So for tonight's dinner, I've just done another tortelloni bake with cream cheese and tomato sauce. And I think this is a prosciutto filled one and we've actually served it on top of lettuce and onion just for a little bit of crunch and got a little bit of parmesan on the top. So as promised last week I said I'd show you the chicken thigh smash burgers that Steve made. These are the best burgers I've ever tasted. Basically you just get skinless and boneless chicken thighs and it's quite time consuming but you need to chop them into really small pieces. Um, you leave any fat that's there on because you need the fat for them to be moist. Once you've chopped them up in small pieces, you just mix them with a chopped chilli if you like spice. If you don't, then obviously don't put the chilli in. And some salt and pepper, and that's basically it. You form them into like the giant meatball sort of things that we did last week with the mince meat. Then you just smash them down in your flat griddle pan. Now Steve thinks an absolute must have with these burgers is Japanese mayo. You can get this in Tesco and on Amazon, but he swears by it. So we've also got our brioche buns, which we've toasted in the pan slightly. And to this we're adding a good squirt of Japanese mayo and then kind of spreading it around a little bit. We've also used some Gouda cheese this time to put on top of the burgers. The Gouda is kind of like a sweet taste and it really goes nicely with the spicy chicken. So we just lay a square on top of each burger and then wait until it melts a little bit. And then basically you just pop them in the bun and add any toppings you want. We've fried off some peppers and onions and got them like really really sticky and then we put that on top and that really goes nicely. The sweetness from the cheese and the sweet and sticky sort of peppers with the spicy chicken and the like nice chilies. I just think it's amazing. I'm really not a burger fan, but these are so good. You definitely need to try them. I did buy Steve a Japanese knife for his birthday that is really, really sharp. And he said it's amazing for chopping up the chicken thighs because trying to use my kitchen knives, it's just ridiculous. It takes forever. They're not the best knives. <laughs> So if you can get a really sharp knife before you begin, it's a good thing. So he's just going to layer these up as always, being Steve, he has to put two burgers on each. Personally, I would only have done one, but you know, what you're going to do, that's what he likes. And the boys were thrilled with these as well. I promised I would show how we made them and this is it. It's so simple. And if you haven't got a massive like barbecue cadet pan like we've got, you could just use a flat griddle pan or frying pan. So if you follow us over on Instagram you may have already seen this but the next morning because we had the pan out Steve decided to make a giant omelette. He used six eggs which I suppose isn't really that many but you can see his hand there. He put some onions and mushrooms in it and some grated cheese and he just thought it was such a novel idea. The funniest thing was though that once he had made it all the boys were like no I have toast and I have cereal for breakfast so we ended up having a bit each and then saving the rest of it and having it like cold like it's sort of like a frittata a bit later on but the look on his face when everyone was like I don't really want omelette and bless him I felt like saying I didn't really fancy it either but I didn't have the heart to tell him otherwise you would have to sit and eat this massive omelette all by himself. So for tonight's dinner we have got some muscle food rump steak and I've just done it on the grill with some umami seasoning 
and I've got a jacket potato and some onions and mushrooms and this is what we've got for dinner tonight. So tonight we have a very random dinner. We've got salad with mixed leaves, tomato, cucumber, onion, spring onion. We've also got like a couple of, I think they're like spicy crinkle cut chips, some garlic mushrooms and a little bit of chili halloumi. And the chicken breast looks massive but I've actually cut it in half so it's really thin. But it still looks really good and I'm going to put some natural yoghurt on top of mine and a little bit of chilli sauce. And that's what we're having for dinner tonight. So the next day we had a really nice breakfast for dinner idea and we had some cheese and jalapeno bread that we got in Tesco that we used for the toast and everyone just had what they fancied and it was just a really nice way to serve our dinner that evening. So I'm just making tonight's dinner and it's a real throw together dinner. So I've got loads of bits in the fridge that needed using up. I had some cooked chicken breast. I had some pizza pepperoni slices, some spinach, and then we've just got some instant noodles, you know, like the, what are they, about 15p a pack. So I put some of those in a pan with some water and the seasoning they come with, and then I've just fried, like dry fried the pepperoni. I've drained out so much oil from it as well. I've drained all that out. I'm going to let that set and then wrap it up in a bin. Um, I've got a chicken breast, I've got a massive handful of spinach in here. Now I'm basically just going to mix it all together and probably top it with some parmesan or something. Just nice and simple and it uses up a lot of the stuff that was going to go in the bin. So I've decided there wasn't enough green so I've added another big handful of spinach into the noodles. So here it is dished up. It's just chicken, pepperoni, loads of spinach but it goes down to absolutely nothing and some chicken flavour noodles. So that is what we're having tonight. So that's it for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you're not already subscribed, I'd love it if you'd go and do so. We're really close now to 20,000, which is just ridiculous. I cannot believe that 20,000 people have subscribed to this channel. It just, it was never even a thing in my head. I never even thought that that many people would want to watch, but I really appreciate every single one of you and I hope everyone is doing okay at the moment. I know things are all getting a little bit strange again and who knows what's going on, everything's a bit scary again and a bit up in the air, but I hope everyone's well, I hope all your families are well, and don't forget you can always DM me on Instagram if you just want a private chat or send me an email, our email is in the description box, and I will be back very soon with another video. Take care guys. This is what we waited for.